All right, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at making LODs for Unity. So with LODs, it's level of detail. And here I only have three levels of detail for this teapot, but you could do four. The important thing is to make sure you're making your levels of detail in the same location in your scene and that you're naming it properly. So here I have teapot underscore capital LOD and then zero. So that's going to be my topmost or base level. And then as I decimate the object and get lower and lower resolution, we raise the number. So the lowest resolution would be LOD3. So here I only have three levels. Again, you can go up to four levels. And if you don't name this properly, then it won't work properly in Unity. So what I did is I just made this teapot and then I went in and put UVs on and painted the UV islands. And then I made duplicates of it, so I cloned it and preserved UVs and then decimated the object so I didn't lose my UVs. Um, this way I can use the same material when I get into Unity. So to save this, and just to show you before I do that, if I hide these, you'll see we have lower and lower resolution in the same location. So to save this, we're just going to go underneath File. You go to Export, Export, and then what we want is an FBX. So I'm just going to name this as Teapots. And I'm saving all three teapots in the scene. We want to make sure that it's Y up. And now that I have that saved, I can go ahead and go into Unity, right click and say um, Import New Asset, navigate to your folder. I have it right here. And when I import it, it's going to bring in that object with all the sub objects. So this is my teapot. So now if I drag it into my hierarchy tab, so put it into the scene, and this is right in the center, you're going to see that because I have all three of them saved under this heading, in a scene, it sets up the LOD group. So remember, you have to have underscore, capital LOD, zero for your original scale, and then as you decimate the model, you bring the number up. So 1 is slightly decimated and then LOD2 is decimated more. So in Unity what it does is it sets up the camera. So as I move the camera further away it will change from showing one object to the next. And then as I move away you'll go to a point where it calls the object. So it just stops rendering the object. And we're just about there, and now it's cold, so it's it's vanished from the scene. So we can make adjustments to this. If I feel that I can make it go to the second object a little bit sooner without seeing it, um, I can start moving this forward. And I'm going to move it forward so much you do see the change. So if you look, you'll see the pop going from one version to the other. Um, so you can go in and make adjustments to that if you feel that you don't see the change. And this is made to save memory. So that's how you set up your LODs in Unity.